Welcome back. In this video, I'll be teaching you a mnemonic that I came up for rheumatoid arthritis, which includes all the features and characteristics of this disease. First, let's talk about the pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. It's an autoimmune disease relating to HLA-D4, and this will cause granulation and joint destruction. It's a systemic disease, so symptoms will appear all over the body. And there are two main antibodies in rheumatoid arthritis. The rheumatoid factor, which is called anti-immunoglobin antibody, it's basically antibody against antibodies. And it's present in about 80% of the cases. And there is anti-cyclic related peptide antibodies, which is the most specific factor for rheumatoid arthritis. To remember all the symptoms and characteristics of rheumatoid arthritis, I remember the word inflamed. So I for inflammation of the pleura and the pericardium. N for nodules, either in the skin or in the lungs. In the skin, we call them rheumatoid nodules, they're just fibrous nodules. And in the lungs, we call them pneumoconiosis or Kaplan syndrome. F for felty syndrome, which is basically splenomegaly that is induced by rheumatoid arthritis. L for lack of saliva, which is caused by Sjogren syndrome, and it's associated with rheumatoid arthritis. A for anemia of chronic disease. M for median nerve compression, which is caused by carpal tunnel syndrome. E for eye scleritis. In bone changes, we'll see subchondrial erosions, as you can see, and subchondrial cysts. And here are the subchondrial erosions and cysts next to one another, so you can compare them. As you can see, the erosion is more diffused and the cysts are more circular in shape. There is also subchondrial sclerosis, with decrease in the joint space. And finally, ulnar subluxation of the fingers. To treat rheumatoid arthritis, we use the disease-modifying agents such as methotrexate, sulfasalazine, hydroxychlorine, and leptonamide. And we use biological agents like tumor necrosis factor alpha inhibitors, which will inhibit the granuloma formation. And for symptoms relief, we give NSAIDs and steroids. Alright guys, that's everything about rheumatoid arthritis that you need to know for step one. Um, these are all the features that you'll see either grossly on the lab or um, like in serum or whatever. So hopefully I made this easier for you and see you guys later.